Hey, are you busy right now? Do I look busy to you? Not really. Well, you would be wrong. Yes, I am currently very busy. I was wondering if you wanted to help me out with the video. If you're serious, then yes, I would love to be in one of your videos. But of course, it all depends on what it is that I have to do. Well, you're not technically in the video. I thought maybe you could just help me out. Maybe stand behind the camera. You can talk and just help me share opinions on certain things. It's, it's a Blu-ray update. Do you want me to be in your video, but you don't want me to be in front of the camera? You wanna do it or not? I'm trying really hard to be nice, okay? I don't have to, do I? I got you at 40. All right, cool. All right, cool, come on. Can I get that 40 right now and just do the video later? What is up you guys, my name is Elias and I love movies and today I will obviously be doing a Blu-ray update. Cut! Did you seriously just cut me? Is that not what directors say? I feel like one standing behind this camera. Can I please get back to the video? Yes sir. Thanks. The first Blu-ray that I want to show you guys is The Witch. I personally enjoyed it. It is kind of a slow burn, but it does sort of also pay off in the end. It's definitely not for everyone, and I would also have to say that it's not really a horror. If you have a lot of patience and you enjoy metaphors and stories that are strongly based on religion, whether it's Christianity or Satanism, then for those reasons, I do recommend it. But like I said, it's not for everyone but I am happy to have it in the collection. The next two movies I got from a Dollar General, they were both like 250 each, so I felt like I had to buy them. Not just because of the price, but because I enjoy them very much. The first movie is 8 Mile, and why I'm just now owning this movie, I have no idea what I was waiting for. I was actually really surprised to see that it's the Blu-ray and the DVD for 250. Really excited to revisit this. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. Eminem is the shit. Another movie that I really enjoyed the first time I watched it and enjoyed even more the second time I watched it is In Time. Also picked this up at the Dollar General for $2.50. I know a lot of people were not a big fan of this movie and maybe I have a weakness for Justin Timberlake. The guy is talented in every direction. Please let me know if you've seen this and let me know if you enjoyed it so that I don't feel like the only person in the world that actually loved it. This next one I was extremely excited to finally own and finally be able to come home and watch it repeatedly. And that movie is Deadpool. Hell yeah, motherfucker. It has got to be like the most complicated thing to not enjoy this movie. I understand that some people don't enjoy cruel humor and don't enjoy violence, but this movie was just able to tie everything in together perfectly. My wife didn't get to see it in theater, so as soon as I bought it, she was curious and wanted to watch it. We actually ended up watching it several times that weekend on her request. It was actually better the second time and even better the third time watching it because I was able to hear other jokes that I had missed because I was too busy laughing. So why haven't I seen it yet? What? I was just wondering why I haven't seen it yet. No, I mean you just said you've seen it several times. How come I haven't seen it? It actually sounds like something I would really, really enjoy. And for you to watch it without me several times is just, it's messed up, man. You really want to have this conversation right now? The next four movies were actually given to me by a friend. Ryan, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Wait, you actually have friends? Yes, I have friends. Don't you? No. Well, whose fault is that? The first movie is Duplicity, starring the very gorgeous, very talented Julia Roberts and the very underrated, very talented Clive Owen. It's nothing amazing, but it is an enjoyable, fun spy thriller. We have these two spies, Julia Roberts and Clive Owen, 
who end up falling for each other though they're on opposite sides this movie is going to give you a bit of a headache because there's a lot going on that is going to make absolutely no sense you are going to be extremely confused but if you just gather all of that information and carry it with you to the end you'll like it hopefully next we have silent hill revelation now i know most fans did not like this. I didn't like this one as much as I liked the first one, but the really cool thing about these Silent Hill movies, for me personally, is the creatures, the monsters, the special effects. The story for both Silent Hill movies I don't think are that great, but I do enjoy how creative they get with their creatures. For that reason alone, I enjoy both of them very much. It's sort of the same reason why I watch the Hellraiser movies. There's a lot of creepy stuff that goes on in this movie, even if it doesn't make sense. Next two movies I haven't seen, but am very grateful to have them. I have Admission, which I don't think I've heard of, but hopefully it doesn't let me down. I love Tina Fey, I love Paul Rudd, so putting them together in a feel-good comedy, it can't go wrong, right? And the next one is Killer Elite. Again, awesome cast. You got Clive Owen, Robert De Niro, and Jason Statham. Don't know anything about it. Don't think I've heard many people talk about it. But I am excited to check it out. By the way, all four of these movies were picked up at a Dollar Tree for a dollar each. How awesome is that? And of course, it wouldn't be a normal Blu-ray update if I didn't show off at least one VHS. And this month, I picked up A West Side Story, the greatest musical ever created. Wrong. Worst musical ever. Excuse me? The singing isn't that great. The dancing isn't that great. Most of the time, they're just jumping around and snapping their fingers. It's a wannabe Romeo and Juliet, and it's way too long. How about you shut your mouth and drink your 40? I already did. <laughs> Remind me to not let you be in any of my videos ever again. That's it, you guys. A short and quick Blu-ray update, as always. Let me know if you guys have any of these titles, if you've seen any of these titles, and what you think. Oh, and of course, let's not forget this month's VHS. Worst musical ever. Shut up. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. You want to say anything? Yeah, uh, don't listen to Elias. He's an idiot. I'm ten times better than he is, and a West Side Story sucks. There, I'm done. I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. I, I'm done. I'm, I'm completely done. Thank you for watching Gary Movie House. Like comment and subscribe for my videos peace out homies